What is up amigos? Today we're talking about air dam aerodynamics and we're going through what air dams are and similar flow control devices that could kind of fall into the same category. So back in a few days ago actually we did a simulation of a Dodge Charger Daytona from 1969. You can find that video here and on the front there you could see this part coming down. So if we look at a car, let's say we have the front here and usually the front would come underneath and we have the wheels here. So it'd be like this, but sometimes you'll find this additional part coming down here. So if this is the road here, we have now reduced how much area there is, how much space for the flow to come underneath. And we actually get a lot of flow hitting this front bit. This front bit here is called the air dam or a chin spoiler, or even potentially wheel deflectors, which we'll get into in a second. So these air dams can start really anywhere in this front part, they can start here, come down, they can be angled forward, depending on which area you're looking at. Usually these days they come down straight and they're at the very front of the hood. So where the grill comes from, that's where it is as well. So it seems quite counterintuitive why I would make the front bigger, because what happens is the flow comes in and we're already hitting the front here. We have a grill here, but we still get the flow decelerating a lot, which increases the drag. Now what we're doing is extending this front bit so we have an even greater frontal area and decelerating even more flow here. So why would we do this? Why would we put this here? It is obviously increasing drag. Well, generally speaking, yes, it is increasing drag, but it is also for the car's stability at higher speeds. So what happens is we are limiting how much air can come underneath the car. So as such, when the air comes under here, we have a nicer seal between the car's under, underbody and the road. And that way we can drop the pressure and make the car stick down to the road. At lower speeds, this isn't a big deal because a car often will produce lift. So the lift coefficient will be positive, which means that as you go higher and higher in speed, the weight of the car will be overcome by the lift and then it will start to like be unstable. It may even flip over. But at low speeds, we don't have that much force from the lift. So that's not overcoming the weight of the car. So the car will still stay on the ground quite nicely. As we increase the velocity though, then that's when we run into problems. So by having this air dam here, we can increase the downforce and overcome that stability problem. So when we go at faster speeds, we don't have this lift coefficient overcoming the weight of the vehicle. And ideally, we actually have more force pushing the car down to actually allow the car to go faster around corners potentially. Now I mentioned other flow control devices like the chin spoiler and the wheel deflectors. Now the chin spoiler is a bit more of an older fashioned kind of term slash device. And the reason why I say that is because when you look at the older cars that have them, for example, the 1970 Dodge Charger, as a Daytona version, it comes out at the front, but it also doesn't span the entire width of the car. So if we look from the top here, and we were to see through where this chin spoiler comes from, it might be about here. Now, this is not great for that car at least, because what happened was that the flow came along here, hit here, then went straight into the wheels. That increases the drag a lot more. What we want to do is increase the width of this at least to hopefully redirect the flow more around the wheels, but not so much that we get a bigger wake happening around here. Both of those things will increase the drag. So there's this sweet spot. Then we come to wheel deflectors, front wheel deflectors. So let's say we don't have this chin spoiler, but we have the wheel here and we have floating it usually straight from the free stream velocity. Now, if we put a wheel spoiler here, which you'll find more about that in this video, we can then redirect the flow around. So this chin spoiler kind of falls into the similar sort of category, uh, sorry, the wheel deflector falls into the similar sort of category as chin spoilers and front air dams. So that is what an air dam is, why it works and how it works and why we use it. It's not just about drag, it's also about lift and stability at higher speeds. So if you like this video, make sure to click the like button and the subscribe button and I'll see you this one. Peace and videos.